everybody welcome to daily entomologist and this is actually gonna be a multi-video uh, collecting trip uh, to Wisconsin so uh, let's get going So it's my uh, first time back in Wisconsin during the summertime in about four years. And uh, although it doesn't look like much, this road right here is basically where I got my start. Where I walked down, collected insects, found caterpillars, and uh, really where I first got my love of entomology so and this uh this little stretch of road has always delivered always found some awesome insects and uh even before this video i captured some good stuff and uh so oh and i just got a buprested So that's really awesome. I'm gonna get that in the vial right away. And as you can see, I think it's gonna be a good few days out here collecting. All right, so the main uh, object of this collection trip for me is mostly uh, dragonflies and damselflies. But I'm kinda, don't mind going after anything. I just caught a butterfly here. You see a beautiful monarch uh, male. And uh, I wasn't going to keep it anyway. I was hoping to hold it a little longer to do it on camera. But I just wanted to catch that to show you guys. Uh, and, uh, Drain flies all up and down this uh, little stretch of ditch right here and uh, managed to catch a couple so far But of course I Kind of forgot to show you And Here we have a milkweed But what I noticed is we have a little baby monarch caterpillar that's actually actually the second one i saw so that's really awesome news there's always milkweed in the ditches on this road and i this is where i've always caught monarch caterpillars and knowing that they're still here is really awesome to know. It's one of the benefits of growing up on a dirt road. And we actually have a dragonfly right here. I have no clue if I'm getting it on camera or not. Oh. But I am going to swing and miss. But there's actually a tractor coming up behind me, so I'm going to switch this off and uh, get you back when I find some more stuff. 
All right, so, uh, so uh, these have been actually pretty common in the ditch so far. And one just finally sat still for me. And luckily it's actually a male. Oh, and of course now it fled away. But if you're able to catch it once it, oh, well, I see it right here. It's actually a uh, male scorpion fly. Unfortunately, well, you can kind of see at the end of the tail there, it's uh, turned up and it looks like a scorpion tail. And that's how, and the males only have that. The females have just have a straight abdomen. But uh, that's how they uh, got their name. And uh, they're always awesome to see. Excuse me. But uh, I was actually able to get some pictures and do it on video, so that's a plus. I'll spend some more time coming on the way back and trying to catch a few. Uh, but as I said, my main objective right now is getting down to where the swamps and everything is and hopefully get some uh, dragonflies and damselflies and I actually just netted I actually just got oh sorry about that I didn't realize it was zoomed in all the way just got a uh, Two dragonflies. By the looks of them, I believe they're uh, some sort of uh, emerald. Uh, and uh, they are indeed. Very pretty dragonflies. There's uh, quite a few species here. And uh, Hopefully I can get a couple of them. And uh, I just see a sod da uh, damsel fly here, so I'm going to try and hurry up and get these uh, in their envelopes. Alright, so just got another dragonfly. I believe... Uh, A uh, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, four spotted skimmer or four spotted chaser. I think that's the common name. Uh, I really like the orange on the uh, front of the wing there on the vein area. And just a beautiful species. Alright, so. Just caught a swallowtail, and by the looks of it, should be a uh, Canadian tiger. But uh, go ahead and get it out. Usually I put it straight in the envelope, but I think today I'm going to, or these few videos, I'm going to show you guys as much as possible. You can see, it's really gorgeous. And uh, 
Well, I did a video on how to ID tiger swallowtails. Um, so you can search back and try and find that video. Uh, that's just gorgeous right there. I'm going to get this in the envelope and uh, we'll move on. Well, I'm actually cutting this little walk short because I'm actually already getting really full. Been getting a lot of dragonflies and damselflies. And there's actually a few just chilling down in here. See an emerald right there. I got a uh, chalk fronted uh, corporal. Right in there. There's actually a lot of them flying around. Maybe I can try and find one. You can kind of see the white coloration coming in on that one right there. But uh, got a good number of species that didn't even make it to the actual lake, which is past the intersection down there around that corner. There's an actual small lake. Um, and there's usually always awesome stuff down here, down, down at the lake. And uh, right here, there's a really nice large swamp, which is a slightly different habitat than the lake. So yeah, I usually get uh, slightly different species. Um, oh, that was a, some sort of checker spot. But uh, probably didn't film as much as I should have but it's only I've only been back here for a few hours so I still have days to go but here's that uh nice size swamp I told you about you see those way back there And there's uh, stuff flying everywhere, whether I actually get on my camera or not, I don't know. There's a... Dragon fly right there. I believe this one is a female uh, dot-tailed white face. Uh, the genus Leucorhenia. I got a couple males already. I didn't haven't caught a female yet though. Oh, there's a. One. Oh, uh, right there. I'm just really not sure if that's a dot tail white face or not. I've never seen with that much pruinosity or that white on there. So I think I'm actually going to try and catch that one. Well, it looks like there's another one there. Yeah, so I'm going to try and catch this one. Or maybe, eh. I have a few days, I'm running out of room. I'll just come back the next couple of days and get some more and try and make it down to the lake. Another female right there.
believe it or not, I've actually missed a few species. Uh, here's the... Checker spot. I've seen a few of these. I'm not going to touch any right now. But I'll grab some uh, in the next couple days. I don't know why it's right there. My eyes. I'll grab that one. Take it out and get a closer look at it at least. See the white face right there? Turn the yellow side and uh, some uh, white right there. I don't see a dot on the tail though. So I think I'm actually going to keep this specimen, uh, do some looking up later, just to make sure. Um, but uh, I'll get this in a envelope and uh, continue my way back. Alright, so what we got here is a mating pair of crescents. I believe these are uh, northern crescents as they are the most more, most common crescent in this part of Wisconsin. Uh, I'm not even sure the Pearl Crescent ranges up this far north. Uh, but really awesome. And uh, this uh, little opening spot right there. Been seeing more and more of them, so uh, like I said, I'm not going to collect any today. Oops, but I will this trip eventually. See another one right there. This is a really cool fly, and of course it flew off. I'm just, uh, I'm really excited because this is only one of many spots I'm planning on collecting at. Uh, gotta go revisit all my old hunting grounds. Because I know for a fact no one's been collecting in them since I have many years ago. So I'm really excited for that. Yeah, actually a few different habitats. I got the swamps, uh, lakes, uh, streams, and we go to a larger river uh, and a more uh, boggy uh, area. So we should be able to see a whole wide range of different species. And the ditches are like moist, really full of vegetation and full of uh, especially, uh, insects, especially flies. So I've been uh, doing some occasional sweeps. I've been doing some uh, good stuff with that. I'm going to do a couple more sweeps on the way back and uh, yeah so so far it's a pretty fantastic start all right guys yeah, so uh, got the porch light on at night I'm at my grandparents and uh, 
Oh, well, I got one moth in there that I need to get back in the form. I got some uh, caddis flies for uh, CSU. Um, there's more, quite a bit of stuff. Out. See right there, a bunch of small midges, moths. Moth right there. And the other light over here. Bunch of stuff here. Got some more moths. Got a cool moth right there. Green fly. But uh, hopefully, I'm gonna grab a couple of these moths and some of these uh. Yeah, there's flies that are walking around. And uh, whatever I can. So, I'm going to try to get all that. And I'll wrap up the first uh, collecting day here in northern Wisconsin. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can get some more awesome stuff tomorrow. All right, so it is day two, and I am over at my dad's place, and about to go do some more collecting. Um, I've been here for a while, mostly just visiting so far, but uh, I've actually been able to catch a few things here in the yard. Got a. Some more damselflies and dragonflies. And, uh, see how long the abdomen is on that one compared to this one. So, I got, I'd say, three or four damselfly species. Uh, so, quite happy about that. And, uh, I also got this dragonfly that actually just literally flew right up to us and landed on the screen porch. That's a species of a uh, club tail. And I think uh, club tails are the family gonfidi. So that's, uh, I'm really, really excited about that. So I think I'm gonna take my youngest siblings with me. And then we're gonna go down back on the other side there along the edge of the swamp and the lake and everything and uh, hopefully get some more awesome stuff managed to get other things as well some robber flies which I'll be able to sh show later probably but uh, one thing I definitely am going to be doing bug spray. The mosquitoes right now are absolutely horrendous. Uh, but uh, luckily for you, you don't have to deal with that right now. Alright, so before the kids do here, just gonna walk on the edge right here. And uh, in a little bit, I'm gonna be going over on the other side over there. Walking in the woods. Hopefully there's some awesome stuff down there as well. But uh it is a little windy today, so I do apologize. I'm gonna try and uh film as much as this as possible. 
I uh, got the mosquito repellent on. See the damsels fly right there. I already got a few of those at the house. So I might pick up a couple more down at the lake. And the mosquitoes are everywhere. And a bunch of flies. I think I'm probably going to do some uh, sweeps as well. Get as much of these flies as possible. Oh, that's a pretty interesting metallic one. It's kind of overclassed, overcast right now, so hopefully the sun will start peeking out. Another beautiful damselfly right there. Some more flies. Oh. Got a mayfly oh, right there, and uh, I'm gonna grab that for the for uh, Boris at CSU. And sweet. So I'm gonna. show you this real quick and I'm think I'm gonna try and catch it uh, it is a fly I believe I don't think it's one I've ever seen before, so I have no clue what it is, or species-wise. So I'm definitely going to catch that. So I'm going to turn this off and then uh, be right back. Alright, so the fly got away. But, there's a uh, flying in the screen right now. There's a, another species of uh, damsel fly. Which I know I only have a couple specimens. Oh my god. The third specimen of the trip so far of this particular one. So I'm going to get that in an envelope. Then we're just going to just right down there and then uh, turn around and head down below some more. Uh, 
Ferrari. Bunch more damsel flies. They're kind of difficult to see. They're all gorgeous. Lots of mosquitoes. Ooh. A damselfly I do not have. See how beautiful red coloration on it. So I'm definitely going to grab that. Awesome. There's been a few bumblebees flying around, but in typical fashion, I bring out the camera to record them and they disappear. All right, I'm gonna get this, uh, this stamps will fly in an envelope and then we'll head down there. All right, so grass is really thick. Another cool damselfly. And we are finally down here. This is a pretty big uh, swampy area. And it was filled with quite a bit of water this year. It's a little bit more windy down here as well. But, uh, let's see what we can find down here. All right, here we have a female sawfly. And I was actually just laying eggs. I'm going to film it for a little bit.
just to watch its behavior. Awesome. <gasps> Sweet. Just able to see it lay some eggs. So we, well, finished up collecting at my dad's place. Got some awesome stuff there. Uh, now, uh, decided to stop at one other location real quick. Uh, this is a boat landing that I used to fish at quite often. And uh, the wind is coming directly at us. Well, I've been here for a few minutes. Uh, been uh, getting some more dragonflies and damselflies. There's actually a red spotted purple butterfly flying around. For now you can see the dragonflies, pretty active. Uh, so far I've seen maybe four dragonfly species here in this spot. Uh, bastard tail right there. See, it's a nice, uh, very uh, covered shoreline, vegetation-wise. Uh, we have a uh, dot-tailed white face line there. Uh, Chalk-fronted corporals. Those have been really common. We actually have a couple mating dragonflies. So that's nice. Uh, there's actually a creek and there's a creek that comes in that comes in from another lake uh, unfortunately there's really no walking trail following it but the area and uh, white red spotted purple butterflies back. Gorgeous, and hopefully I'll be able to catch that one and get it in the collection. <laughs>